This is Morgan Marduk here and you are watching Stormbringer, the Austrian heavy sign. What should I say? It's mankind. Something that I wish will happen in the nearest future. I mean, it's a place we wanted to go for a long time, but it's uh, not possible as easy as to book in Europe or somewhere else. So it's something that is on our agenda and will hopefully happen in the future. Well, it's a common thing in today's world, which is something that I don't really believe in. I believe in free speech and people being able to say whatever they want, whatever it is. That's what it's all about. Fascinating part in Europe, not only European, fascinating part in the whole history of mankind. Interesting as a lot of other conflicts. Something that happens once in a while, I don't really think it's a negative thing. It shows that music still is being dangerous, so shit happens of various reasons but you always have to overcome things and be triumphant in the end that's what really matters great machines <laughs> uh, great guy good old friend from back when we started the tour we did our first European tour together with uh, Imm Immortal back in 94 so we had a long relation, we toured many times together and played many festival shows together just as today, so we have a friendship that go back until 92, 93, so great personality. Well, that's like 95% of uh, mankind because people don't even bother to even to research or understand why things happened the way they did or whatever, I mean also to in a what should I say in combination with modern technology technology people get more stupid and more stupid so I mean it's today you can find out anything you really want to do but people don't even bother to do it they're too stupid or too narrow-minded I mean everything you can research and find out whatever you want in life but people are more occupied with I don't know stupid things uh, also a great inspiration from back in the day you know good friendship from the early 90s I don't really care. I mean, there's so many different political movements and I don't really care about any of them. It doesn't, it's not a part of my world, any of these left or right. I don't really care. People can do whatever they want. If they think it's good, fine for them, you know. Nice city, nice country. Been there many times and played and yeah, it's a great, great part of Europe. I don't really know. I mean, it depends on how you look upon things. I mean, I'm a European. I believe in a strong Europe, and I mean, I have many friends in the States, and I don't really care, you know. Musical? Maybe? Musical, I would say that Europe probably, depending on which time period you're speaking about. You're speaking about extreme metal, I would say that Europe probably is it's better than the States, but I mean, who really cares? Yeah, it's the invincible force that we're all gonna meet whether you want or not, so you just have to accept it and get over it and do the best you can of life. People put labels on it, if you mean on music or things like that. Uh, some people find it really important to be specific and call their music this and that and whatever, and you know, people have always put labels on stuff, so I mean, it's just a thing. Grandfather. Yeah, yeah. I was, if I was speaking about my own, he was a uh, good, good guy. You know, he died many years ago. So I mean, grandfather. I, I don't know what to say about it. Could be interesting. You never know, depending on where you would travel and what choices you would have and what options on how to travel and where to appear and things like that. But of course, it would be interesting. You can do a lot of time traveling just by reading a lot of books as well. you speak about the Deep Purple album. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them are good. Uh, 
a few years in between, but I mean, it's a quite big difference, but I mean, it's a different part of your life as well. It's like 25 years ago, Dark Endless was released or something like that. So you develop a lot and well, what should I say? I'm still proud of that, that album. And I think I'm proud of all the albums we have done because they show where you were at a different time period, you know, and I believe that all the albums we have done are pillars upon which we stand as a band and they are equally important because they all show where we were at certain time periods, thought-wise, music-wise, theme-wise, you know. Uh, great band, played with them a few times. One of the few great black metal bands today, I would say. Yeah, it's it's a common thing as well. It's been done for many years and uh, as long as there's been music, I think people have been singing about politics and it's fine if people want to do that, I don't mind, it's up to them. What should I say? I don't really know that much about him. It's a big fuss about it, but I mean, it's business as usual in America, I guess. Hard to say, you never know. Maybe we'll still keep on marching and doing what we believe in. You never know. We've done it for 28 years now, so it's impossible to say. Usually I'm not really into reunions because usually it doesn't become the same thing, but I, who am I to say if people want to get back together and do what they believe in? I mean, some of them turned out really well, while a lot of them didn't do. One that turned out really well was Celtic Frost. I was really... Uh, suspicious when they were about to come back, but they did it strong and it did a combination of the old with something new and, and did it really good while a lot of other bands really didn't succeed, but they did it good. So it can be a positive thing. Yeah, I'm usually a fast talker. They, sometimes they have like 50 minutes and like, oh, we're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, it's fine. If it takes too long for, for the viewers, it's getting boring. Yeah, and, and that's the thing that I speak about modern technology. The thing is, if you put up more than three lines in an update, people don't read it today yeah. because they're yeah. so busy doing other shit. Yeah. And people, I wonder if people read books or anything because people are acting more and more stupid while if they really wanted to know, they could find out for themselves. But people are just like too stressed out and yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. to understand yeah. anything. It's just it's getting switch, ridiculous. Yeah. Switch over to something and today else. we have a big problem. It's like a new generation of small kids are being depressed because they don't get likes on Facebook and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's weird. You have everything in the world and, and people are getting depressed over such things. Yeah. And to, uh, the thing is that a lot of people think that the world is happening on the internet. It doesn't. Even though some people tell me when it's been storming around about, what do you think? I don't care. When I open my fucking window, the trees are still there, the sun yeah. go up in the morning, it's a storm of people who's... Go to the forest. Yeah, they don't have a life anymore. They sit and, and they speak about forests, they speak about stuff, but nobody goes yeah. out. Yeah. They should go out and discover real life. And they build a forest in yeah. the internet on some Yeah, I mean, if I'm, I'm more <laughs> interested in sitting just outdoors with a cup of coffee and watching birds than I am yeah. in sitting in front of a computer or, or even bring books out and sit and read outside. That's, that's life yeah, for that's, me. That's because we grew up that way. Yeah. The people don't and I'm happy it. that I weren't yeah, born later. Yeah, me, too. <laughs> me too. I don't want to... Well, yeah, it's just like, it's really strange today, but I mean, everything changes. Yeah. For the worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something for the good, but I mean, it's just bizarre, the whole development, and especially also internet things, is people can say anything they want, and people take it as a fact without doing any research. You can put up whatever lies you want. Yeah. There's no, like, no control of anything. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Basing their lives on headlines. Yeah. Newspapers, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Without reading the yeah. text. It's bizarre.